hey guys good morning happy sunday today is not sunday actually but i'm telling you happy sunday because this video is going to be up on a sunday <laughs> so you guys um i'm about to go out now i'm about to go to um deliver the stuff that um i gave out the stuff for the giveaway winners you guys since i announced the giveaway winners i have not had time to actually send the stuff out but today i told myself i must do it today i have a lot of things to do but i must do this one today that's why i'm really like sweating trying to get things in order because <laughs> nello said that she's going around that area instead of me to calm down dress up do what i want to do then go and deliver the stuff because my car is here but instead of me to drive that distance since she's going let me just hop into her car in fact any car going that direction <laughs> I'd rather hop into it than cool down and you know get dressed and go and deliver the stuff myself but anyway yeah so i'm going to be sending out the giveaway items today and i also want to declutter my closet today like to today i'm going to be doing a very drastic decluttering of my closet even if it's only two clothes i'm sure if you've been watching my videos i'm sure you can name all the clothes that i actually wear but trust me i have way 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 more clothes than i actually wear so i mean it doesn't make sense to me there's so many clothes i'm holding on to because i know that oh one day when i lose weight i can you know fit back into those dresses you know even if i lose weight you know what whatever happens whenever i lose the weight i'll get money and i'll go and buy new clothes god is going to provide okay there's no point holding on to all these clothes because you know i like them and because i want to wear them someday no there's really no point so so i'm going to be doing a massive decluttering i don't know whether i'm going to sell some of them or just give away everything i don't know when that time comes i'll you know i'll think of what to do the weather is so hot i'm so sweaty so yeah welcome to my vlog if you're new to this channel you're welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back i really appreciate every one of you okay so yeah uh let's just jump right into this video So guys i'm back now and i spent more time than i expected because after dropping off the stuff i went to i followed Nalo to market and we, we wasted a lot of time there so right now i'm tired and i've already scattered my clothes that i want to arrange see <laughs> my clothes everywhere i want to fold my clothes so i don't even know whether i should just sleep i feel like sleeping i want to just have my bath and sleep and see if i can sleep before school runs time but it's already past one or so so i can't even sleep before it's time for school runs yeah so yeah that's why it always seems like i'm always extremely busy i don't have time i don't have time it's because so many things take up my time like the market we spend so much time there because we are trying to get something and why is it that in nigeria i'm sorry to rant but i need to rant small why is it that in nigeria you hardly find quality stuff okay you know we always say oh if if only you had money if only you had money even when you have the money okay you have saved your money you have your money now you want to go and buy quality stuff you will not find yeah so i don't even know what it is but before you find quality things you have to search and search and search and you might not even sit in port Harcourt. you might end up being in lagos and what if something you need urgently you now have to go to lagos and go and buy it or what so at the end of the day eh, my back i'm tired joe <laughs> i'm tired so um but i'll just see if i can just start some things because my husband is coming back tomorrow and before he comes back i usually try and arrange my house more than normal okay yes my my husband is a very organized person and i'm organized too but he's more organized than i am so i try to put things at his own level of organization before he comes back <laughs> so let me just start anywhere i stop i know i've stopped and i'll just rest till tomorrow okay so yeah so this is my closet just know that three of our four of the clothes here in fact i don't even know just know that the clothes i wear here now to 10 percent maybe i wear just 10 percent of the clothes that are here and then shoes i don't really have that many shoes but yeah i wear just maybe five of all these shoes here so i need to organize this place better this is where i keep my shoes i have some shoes inside there so i need to organize here better this place has always been a little bit more organized than this but recently i've been hiding stuff here look at my children's dolls I don't even know what's this scissors i've been hiding stuff inside here things that they play with on the scatter i've been hiding them inside here so i need to get them out of here as soon as possible see i was laughing at people that are holding holding tissues in america see me i don't know why i have all these tissues here i have no idea why i have all these tissues here why <laughs> why so i'm going to sort that out is that i give it out you know so comment down below if you guys still use tissue paper in your homes 
personally in my homes we've stopped using tissue paper and that's because for my kids i feel like it irritates their skin it's not even it doesn't even clean properly so for them most times we use what not most times we use water you know to wash them up when they are done using the bathroom we use water if we're in a place where there's no water we use wipes i use wet wipes because it cleans better so i really don't need tissue for anything and then in the kitchen we use paper towel or normal kitchen towel so yeah i don't really have use for tissue paper so i need to give out all those ones that are there i have cartons here so i'm going to use these cartons maybe one for giving to church and one that i might sell you guys look at eva's face come here come to the light let's see you clearly what did you rub on your face what did you rub? Hmm? I show you. you want to show me? Yeah. Okay. This one. Which one? Bring it out, let me see. First of all, you scattered all my makeup. Why did you enter my room? I can't. I'm going to go and continue following you. Don't think that you're running away. What do you like it? Yeah. What do you look like? Princess. You look like a princess. Hmm? I'll be a vampire. <laughs> oh, yeah, go, let's go and clean it. Amarachi, bring olive oil. Just drop it, point. Point, I need a lot. Mm -hmm. I want stickers. Hmm? I want a girl. I'm a boy. I want stickers. It's not stickers. It's sellotape. I want stickers. I want. I'm coming. Let's finish. Want... Right. She wants a date, so if you're ready, get there. That's right. Her date. Diana, I also want to say, after divorce, I was really nervous getting back into it because it feels like so much has changed and people are into social media and they have all these different trends. Hello guys, good morning. So today is the next day. I wasn't able to complete it yesterday because my children, once they come back home, I, like, I can't do much. I don't even know how people cope with kids. <laughs> I can't do much. Once my kids are around, see that this one is crying, this one is reporting, this one is shouting, this one wants to sleep, this one wants to eat, this one wants to rest, this one wants to... so many things. This one, wants to... this one wants to watch. Or, and I noticed one thing about my kids, once they see that I'm concentrating and doing something, they want my attention by all means. If I give them my attention, they will ignore me and be doing something else. So, I know that most time when I go to their room to stay with them, it's either they watch something on their tab or they are playing together. But everybody is generally quiet when I am with them and I'm just concentrating on them. But let me just face something else that I feel that, okay, I need to do this thing and I'm really putting all my concentration on ah that is when they will start misbehaving because i don't know it's just a cry for attention anyway so um i'm kind of done my bed i changed my bed sheets i like changing my bed sheets anytime he's coming back um i really love these bed sheets so these are my stuff that there was a side table here that um i took i took downstairs to clean because i saw some dust around this so i thought i managed to help me clean it so when she brings it back i'll sort this things out but yeah look at my closet now i tried yesterday with you guys <laughs> i tried yesterday so so this is it so i moved the bed sheets before bed sheets were here but i moved the bed sheets and pillowcases here um there are still more bed sheets but we had to wash some we've not really had light so they've been piling up but i have to use gen to wash them so here i'm going to put leave here for my husband these are his stuff his wristwatches accessories are inside here he has some i think his clipper this was actually a shoe box i am i got him shoes from this brand some time ago so this shoe box he has his clipper and some other stuff inside here stuff for his hair basically because he cuts his hair by himself and these are wristwatch cases and yeah so here is for me um those are my perfumes those are my jeans and my face cap i just bought this one recently and i've, I've not really worn them so my face cap and then this brush let me tell you guys about this brush so lighting here is really horrible anyway so this brush is a youtuber gave it to me her name is rose lomon tv i'm sure you guys will know her if you have been on my channel for a while i did a collab with her and i mentioned her several times on my channel so yeah when she came to nigeria she bought these two brushes for me for my kids for Cora and eva and i really love them so much now the problem why i haven't opened them is that the two brushes are for three years plus and eva is not up to three years 
Now, if I say let me open Corazon and give, because Cora is more than four now. If I carry Corazon and give Cora, Eva is going to cry for her own. So, I just kept the two brushes till um, maybe before Eva turns three years. I mean, sometime this year, I'm going to have to open them uh, for them to use. But thank you so much, Rose Lomon. Like, I really appreciate um the the two brushes and one thing about me i don't know comment down below if you're like me when i get something really really nice or something i really really appreciate i barely use it i hardly use things that i really like my husband says i'm a hoarder i don't think i i, I don't think it's i don't think it's hoarding actually because i'm not a hoarder like i get rid of stuff easily but things that i really like and maybe things that someone gave me and i really appreciate it sentimental stuff i hardly use them i hardly you know use them okay even clothes when i get clothes i really really like i just wear them once package them and keep them i hardly wear <laughs> it's not just my nonsense clothes i'll be wearing up and down They're my really really nice clothes i hardly wear them you know and stuff like this but yeah i need to change so um sometime this year anyway i'm going to bring out those two brushes these are my drawers so these are where i put my clothes so these are my clothes here these are mostly workout clothes so just top bottom top bottom top bottom top bottom top bottom top bottom and then swimwear and these are some of the clothes i wear to stay at home um i just have two yeah more clothes that i wear to stay at home or just go out casually uh, this one is empty i purposely emptied it i threw away some of the things here and then here down there is my undies um this is my husband's hold up i'm not going to open it okay it just has his shirts in there so this is my husband's closet i'm not going to open it because yeah this is for, it's for him and it's always arranged to a tea like i don't really do anything i told you guys my husband is very organized so i don't even do anything for his clothes they are always well arranged and neatly yeah, his stuff are always neatly kept his shoes his wristwork everything is always neatly kept so this is mine now i tried to get rid of so many clothes and i think i did i did actually see all these hangers are empty I don't know if you guys can see these hangers are empty so i got rid of clothes i need to get rid of more there's some clothes here that to be honest i don't wear like this one i can't remember last time i wore this dress this one in fact so many dresses here this this jackets i mean like we are my wearing jackets so so i might still get rid of these things um but yeah and here are my shoes yeah so these are all the shoes i own all the shoes i own these are um heels i always wear sensible heels all my heels are usually chunky heels and they're always very sensible chunky heels like just like this that's all these are how all my shoes are you can see this one um this one is a wedge okay this one is also chunky this one is a bit higher than the rest but it's very very comfortable so yeah you guys know that i'm team big feet when i see people that show their shoe closet and they have so many shoes i'm like how i can't relate i'm team big feet so first of all my shoes are very scarce to get my shoe size i wear size 12 yes us 12 so size 44 is my shoe size so they're usually very difficult to find even when i find i really don't find pretty shoes in my size even when i find pretty shoes in my size they're usually more expensive than every other person's you know shoes every other size so yeah i don't have so many shoes up even though i don't really need so many shoes where am i going to now i don't really need so many shoes but how i was able to get majority of the shoes that i have is from instagram instagram has really changed the game um i found some stores i'll leave them in the description box for anybody who is team big feet and wants to find big shoes okay so i'm not like some of you that can just walk into a store and just pick out shoes it, it doesn't happen like that for me <laughs> it's very 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 rarely do i enter a store and see my size i know how nigerian vendors are now very annoying i'll enter them i want to buy shoe do you sell big size uh -uh, yes now we, we carry all the big sizes come come see this one now size 41 and i'm like really size 41 size 41 they say yes now nah, if you enter you now okay we could go look for the size 42 i'm like dude look at my legs <laughs> look at my feet i wear size 12 they say this one go enter you they're not trying to force my feet into there i'm just like is it that you they will bring small shoe for me me that i'm buying the shoe i can tell you that this is clearly not my size they'll be arguing with me on top of my own on top of my own leg again on top of my own feet you are arguing with me about my size <laughs> 
so it's really annoying but yeah let me go and eat while my actually cleans the drawer for me so that i can now finish arranging today we're going to pick him from the airport so i think i'll carry you guys along to show you guys how we go and pick my husband from the airport that's something i really really love i really love when i carry my daughters to go and pick my husband they're always so excited like even if anybody's clanky crying once you just say let's go and pick daddy everybody just <laughs> everybody becomes so excited you know they want to go they want to go so yeah i finished talking enough i beg let me go and eat okay yeah you want to go and pick daddy yeah all right yeah, want to yeah. pick Yeah? I should carry you there. No. Let's go. You have to find that web. Yes, the spider web. Yes. Yeah. The spider web. <laughs> Say what you just said. I said today. It's today, wo. Today. Today, wo. Say today, wo. <laughs> We are at the airport. This is an airport now. Okay. Yeah. So we are at the airport now. We're just going to wait for him to come. And Eva is already sleeping. After all the excitement, we couldn't even wait for daddy. Don't wait for daddy to come. Eh. Uh, after all the excitement. <laughs> We've seen daddy. Where? Yes, we want to go see daddy. Where did he go to? <laughs> that way. You want to go and calm down? Yes. Oh, yeah, calm down. Everybody has slept. Eva, you've not even seen your daddy. Oh, Cora. Cora. <laughs> hey guys, good morning. So today I'm going to do my national identity card. It's not national identity card, they call it NIMC. National, yeah, national identity card to get my national identity number. And am I the only one who doesn't like doing anything official in this country? Any official document, driver's license, international passport, all kind of things. I don't like doing them in this country. I don't know why. Their processes are always so stressful and annoying. And if you have to bypass those processes, you have to pay extra. But anyway, so I'm going to be going there today. And my kids are in school. See, am I the only one that comment down below if you are a mom with small children who is contemplating taking them out of school? <laughs> for me, oh, my children should not be going back, should not be going to school for this period because I, I don't know. See, I don't trust this country with the way we handle stuff like that. So I prefer my kids to stay at home till everything blows over. But yeah, we cannot walk with we cannot walk by fear. So let me not walk by fear, let me walk by faith. But at the same time, we have to be careful. Uh, so like Cora, you know Cora sucks her, her index finger. So that one gives me sleepless nights on its own. Not talk of now with all these things that are going around. Anyway, they are divinely protected. But I don't know. I feel like the cases that are being reported in the media are not enough. So many cases are going unreported. That's what I feel. And I have good information to feel that way. So yeah just be careful don't think that that uh we're, we're handling the way we handle the ebola crisis no this is a different dispensation though. so uh, everybody should just be cautious okay yeah okay we are done with the registration we've not gotten our slips or anything or the card but we just registered at least so we'll have to follow up and you know find out when the slip will be ready and as usual now with all nigerian things for me i feel like all these processes are so unnecessary like why do we keep duplicating information you've done bvn you've done java's license you've done international passports but you still have to do national identity card before you know it now they'll bring another one that you have to do the same fingerprints the same capturing the same imputing of data 
So those of you that are in, uh, in the tech industry, <laughs> those of you that are technologically savvy, you guys should come up with a way or a proposal. I'm sure, the, I'm sure there is a way that all these things can be done. I'm sure the government knows how to integrate all this data and you know put it in one place. I'm sure they know how to do it, but they're not just interested or whatever. Anyway, now Nigeria we then now we'll keep duplicating information until one day somebody will just maybe one government can just come and decide to you know marry everything together. We're finally back and I'm in my office. People have asked me to do an office tour. See, the reason why I've not done an office tour is because there's really nothing to show. Like there's nothing. Let me show you guys what I'm working with, okay? So when you come into my office, this is what you're going to see. Um, right here is just a rocking chair. I had this rocking chair when I, I bought rocking chair when I was pregnant with Cora, so it's been here. I hardly use it to be honest. I have my makeup there. There's really nothing to show. Just, you know, that's just makeup, okay? So these are wardrobes. I'm not going to open them now because I don't really want to. And then I have a water dispenser here. I actually brought this one upstairs recently so that we don't have to walk in up and down just to get water. This is a yoga mat. And this is a treadmill that I obviously hardly use. <laughs> then I have this mattress. This is a mattress covered in, um, I think this is, a, this is a duvet cover. So that's a mattress covered in duvet cover. And the reason why I have that mattress is because this room can get echoey. Um, yeah, it can get echoey. Like I, I'm sure if you're listening to my voice, you can hear a little bit of echo. So what I do is when I want to film, I close all my room windows and put this pillow, I put this mattress near my camera to kind of absorb some of the echo. So that's how I make my audio work. So I don't have an external camera, I don't have an external microphone. That's what I just do to make my audio work when I'm, when I'm filming my sit down videos. Um, yeah, because I'm using a G7X. People have asked me a lot about it. I'm using a Canon G7X. I use it for all my videos, both sit down and vlogging. It's a very nice vlogging camera, but for sit down videos, it can be a little bit annoying because um yeah because it doesn't have external mic and this the micro the microphone there is good but it's not good enough for sit down videos so that's why i have to start trying different hacks to remove the echo so and then here is this um i don't know what to call this thing i got a carpenter to make this those are light switch i just use washi tape <laughs> i use gold washi tape to cover the light switch so it doesn't look so ugly so that's it this is um a frame yeah two frames i love the frames and then this yeah the same carpenter also made this this thing is dusty yeah. this thing is dusty i put seeing black suits and i'm actually cleaning this place at least once every week i put seeing it this is black suit this is not just dust this is suit actually i seen it i need to wash my hands and uh, i just have this this was actually a brown basket i just spray painted this gold so that i can put you know random stuff in it my laptop is usually here but it's not here right now so this is where i stay to do some of my editing i just have this mirror here so i use this mirror to just you know look at myself and film myself sometimes and this is dress i wear at home <laughs> this is how i look at home I, I like wearing stuff like this at home because of how free and airy it is you know yeah you guys the weather is still very hot in port harcourt and in my area is now worse because uh, they said Nepal is trying to get people in this area to all have prepaid meter. We, we have prepaid meter, but I think some houses don't have prepaid meter. And guess what? They decided to withhold lights. Yes, Nepal purposely. Nepal was not even giving us lights before. They're not giving us good lights before. Now they purposely decided to withhold to stop sending lights, to stop putting on lights, <laughs> to stop allowing lights, electricity in this area so that everybody can you know go on prepaid meter is it's annoying it's annoying that's the kind of country we live in where we have to suffer for other people like is it my fault i don't want to have prepaid meter what thing concern me concern them just give us lights cut slides to those houses or something i don't know what whatever i don't know but it's unfortunate so we've not had lights in the past one week now because of it um but we're surviving somehow we will just be surviving i don't know maybe i'll try to this my vlog we are surviving because that's just it we're all surviving we shall try our best but to be honest it's very unfortunate so yeah that's it i think i'm going to end this vlog here um that's just my life 
so after this vlog now i'll go and edit this vlog and put it up tomorrow yeah so that's it this is just a lazy vlog i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i always hide that thing when i'm i'm filming so you guys will not see but now that you've seen it now i have to allow it you know in the frame <laughs> so yeah uh, give the video a thumbs up and share my videos, please. And I'll see you all in my next one. Bye, guys. Mwah.